Hey there, Phoenix Sky. Kim, our styles, welcome on. What's up, what's up, everyone? Go ahead and let me know where you're tuning in from. Get the heart party started if you really want to learn how to make a quick logo. Hi. Hello. Yes, let's tap the screen if you want to know how to make a quick logo here in PicMonkey. And you can share this with your peeps if you think that this training is something that your people here on Periscope or Twitter would like. Go ahead and share this with them at this time and we're going to get started. So we're trying to get some more people in the room and I will go ahead and show you how to make this quick logo. Tap, tap, tap the screen. Thanks so much. Right. So, hey there. This is like bad lighting. <laughs> but it's all good. What's up, everyone? Thank you, Phoenix Guy. Thank you, Kim, for sharing. So I was over here playing around on PicMonkey because I have a couple of projects going on. And I was like, let me go make a quick logo. And then I'm like, you know what? There are people that don't know how to make a quick logo. So let me get on Periscope and show them how. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Isn't that the awesomeness of Periscope? Um, so in case you don't know who I am, I'm Tiffany Lanier. I'm an online business and personal development coach, and I help entrepreneurs monetize and market their brilliance online, as well as conquer their mind in order to succeed in business. And so that's what I'm all about, mindset, marketing, and monetization. And that's what you get here at the Live with Tiffany channel. So if that's something that you like, you can go ahead and swipe on to the right and press follow. That would be so great. If you're watching the replay or here live, you can continue to tap the screen and give hearts. If you see some, or if I say something that you like, if you see something that you dig that I'm showing you, go ahead and tap, tap, tap the screen. The more hearts, the merrier. We're all about the heart party here. So like I said, for those that are just coming on, if you wanna share this with your people, as you see that this is an awesome little training, you can do that even if you're watching the replay, you can share it with your peeps. So here we go. I'm going to go back to Pick Monkey, and I'm gonna to try to hold this iPad and show you at the same time. So bear with me if it's a little shaky, okay? All right, so we're at pickmonkey.com. All right, so Pick Monkey and Canva, I'm actually thinking of doing a training on both, and if that's something that you may be interested in, like a big, long masterclass on it, let me know in the comments below if that's something that may be up your alley. But here on pickmonkey.com, you can pretty much create, yes, awesome, you can pretty much create anything. So you have, I have the premium version, which is like $33 a year, so it's pretty good. Um, I use Canva mostly for everything though. So canva.com is what I really, really use, but I, use, I started off using pickmonkey. Very interested, good to know. Okay, so I will definitely let you guys know. And you can jump over and get on my email list at livewithtiffany.com because I'll be announcing it there um, once I have the training up and going. <clears throat> so you can go to livewithtiffany.com and make sure you're on my email list so that you can get notified when I do that masterclass. Um, so here you can, I was saying I do Canva mostly, but what's cool about PicMonkey is the ability to pretty much design from scratch and Let's see, you're able to have, can you create a logo in, so you can create a logo and it can as well. It can what? Yes, you can create a logo. Oh, in Canva. You can create a logo in Canva, I believe, but I haven't tried it yet, so maybe I need to do that. Um, but what's easy here in PicMonkey is this transparent button, and so you make it transparent. And so you have all these little gray boxes and that pretty much takes away, it makes it invisible, right? So when you're creating a logo, you don't want that white background or a black background or any color type of background unless that's a part of your logo. So this gives you that transparent background. So what you do is turn it to that, click on transparent um, canvas. Let me just take you back. I wanna make sure I'm doing this training in its entirety. So we go back to, okay, nap, that's mine. Pick Monkey. I love Pick Monkey, me too. All right, so you have, in pickmonkey.com, you have edit, touch up, design, and collage. Now, what's cool about Pick Monkey is that it gives you that ability to pretty much um, touch up your photos too. So it's almost like Photoshop. So that's what 
I guess that's what differentiates it from Canvas still, is that it has that Photoshop ability that if you wanted to do some quick touching up of photos that you might have taken, you can do that. It's still not the best quality like Photoshop can be, but it's better than anything else that you can do online. So this allows you to edit photos that you already have. Design is where we were and where we're going to go back to. And collages is what you can you know put together and create different collages of your photos. So in order to do a logo, we're gonna head over into design. And make sure as I'm showing you this, guys, you just continue to tap, tap, tap the screen and give some hearts if you so appreciate it. Then we're going to take, I'm like trying to see over the iPad, um, go to transparent canvas, hit apply. All right. Transparent. Okay, cool. So now we're on the transparent background, which is allows you to do your logo with an invisible background. So pretty much over here, you can do almost anything you want, right? So I just did a simple logo for a new Instagram account that I'm putting together um, called The Mental Entrepreneur. And this, I just want to do something really fast, like really simple, nothing too complicated. But here are all of your text options, right? So whatever you're trying to create, you have a lot of different um fonts that you can use and you can even add your own. So if you go to yours, hey Prices Planning, if you go to yours, you can add your own um, from your laptop or things that you want to use. So if you know you already have a font that's for your brand that you use a lot, you can just add it to PicMonkey and use that from now on. So I just pretty much clicked just straight Arial Black. Like I wasn't even trying to make it complicated at all. <laughs> and then I add text and if you see that's where your text come up and for me I just wanted a simple M E right so I'm gonna go ahead and make that bigger over here for the font size Boop. it's hard to hold and do this with one hand by the way <laughs> okay cool so we have a, okay so it didn't change I need to highlight it and then go back over here go to the biggest one. Now we have a big OM. Great. So that's what I did. So this is pretty much my logo, but obviously you can do whatever you want. You can pick your colors over here. You can also add any type of images that you may want. So you might have different geometric shapes, right? Hearts, you know, whatever you want for your your logo design. But they give you a lot of options. You can also import some images too of things that you might want to do. So I'm just showing you quickly kind of what I just did. So then we're going to do this again, go back to text. I'm going to click this. I don't even think I picked that one, but it's okay. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to click E. Boop. Make sure I highlight it. Yeah, keep those hearts going, guys. I'm over here multi, like holding one big iPad, trying to work on this with one hand. <laughs> I would so appreciate the love and the feedback to make sure that you know this is stuff that you want to learn. And so basically what I did was just simply combined the M and the E and made this into my logo, right? And so what I also did was put the mental entrepreneur underneath it. Cool, I know. It's something that could be, you know... Whether you want to get your a professional logo made, I've done both, but for little projects and things that you might want to just create a new course, a new training, a simple program for your Instagram, whatever that may be, you don't always have to go and get a professional logo made. You can really create your own, especially those of us that are more artistic. Like I probably should have been a graphic designer um, just because I like doing graphics so much. <laughs> but I don't, I usually outsource this kind of stuff um, especially when I'm busy and I don't really have time to do it because it is time consuming, right? Um, so depending on where you are in your business and what you have going on in your business, it might be faster to just outsource it. But for sometimes it's just fun for me. The <laughs> mental, oh, my bad. Um, it's just fun. Yep. Takes time. It does take time. So for me though, I just, I jumped on here and was like, I want to do something really quick. And so I actually, this is taking me longer, I think, to show you because I'm talking through it than it did for me to make it. It literally took me five minutes and I had my, my new logo for this particular um, Instagram account. So I was really, really, really excited about that. Okay, so for some reason, I'm trying to get this a little bit bigger. Cool. All right, so basically that's what I did in order to create my simple logo. So this is what my other logo actually looks like. 
So it says the mental entrepreneur. I made that literally in five minutes. So I wanted to jump on here really quick to just show you what is possible here on PicMonkey. I like, thank you. You can crop things, sorry. You can rotate the image, different color exposure. You can sharpen it. I mean, it's just some really neat features on here. But like I said, I still love Canva. Um, I come to PicMonkey primarily to do, um, to do quick touch-ups, you know, on some of my photos if I need touching up, to make a quick logo, I might use PicMonkey. I used to use PicMonkey a lot <laughs> when, it, when it first came out because Canva was, is brand new since last year. Well, it's not brand new, but it's about a little over a year old. And so lately, I'm really, really fixated on Canva, like absolutely, hands down, love that platform. And so I use it a lot. So I am, because so many people ask me how to do quick images, for whether it's for your header on Facebook, eBooks, magazines. I mean, there's so many things that you can do with these do-it-yourself type tools um, that I've been doing for some time now. So I'm really, really considering doing a masterclass on it. So like I said, if that's something that you're interested in, let me know. Make sure you're on my email list at livewithtiffany.com and I will be releasing when that day up come, in the upcoming weeks, um, I will definitely hold that masterclass for you guys. If do-it-yourself graphic design is something that you want to learn how to do. Hey, Javon, what's up? Um, so if that's something that interests you, make sure you follow me or go over to liveatiffany.com and um, become on the email so that I can let you know and share this with your peeps. You know, giving hearts and sharing with your people lets me know this is content worth doing. I wanted to jump on here really quick. I wasn't even going to, I was just finishing up. And I was like, let me teach them something really fast. Um, so I hope that this helped you go ahead and make some cool stuff using PicMonkey and using Canva. You really can do things fast if you don't overanalyze it, right? So that's something that you have to consider because someone, not me, <laughs> would just mold over like, oh my God, I have to make sure that this is perfect for this thing. I'm just like, give me something really simple <laughs> that works, that get my message across, that I can present and make more official. Bam, got that. Because I have other things to get back to. Like I just released a video. That's where this whole like little micro brand is coming from. Um, but if you go to my fan page, facebook.com forward slash live with Tiffany, I just released a new video, a new type of video that I'm experimenting with and would love your feedback. Let me show you. Boop. So this is the video. In order to hear it, you got to head over to Facebook. I just published it. So head over to facebook.com forward slash... Is it live with Tiffany? Yes, it is. <laughs> and you video, and I would love your feedback and let me know what you think. It's called What is Power? So head over there and do that, and I will see you guys in the next scope. Thank you so much for being on. Thank you so much for the hearts. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys a little bit later.